Since this has been pretty much my most requested meta-analysis from the start, I feel I owe it to you guys to tackle this subject as a thank you for reaching almost 10,000 subscribers in just over a month. With that said, you guys might not like what I have to say about it. Water bears. <sighs> Judging by how many comments you all made praising the water bear, it's obvious none of you have actually ever tried to play that build before. Let me walk you through the character creation process for water bears, with the hopes that you realize that they make basically all of the wrong choices. Hey, looks like you've chosen Kingdom Animalia. Good choice. They've got the most interesting gameplay in my opinion. Okay, so from here, what are you feeling? Bilateral symmetry, good, good choice. Brains are fun. Okay, so are you feeling endo or exoskeleton? Oh, okay. I'm an endo guy myself, but I see the value in having armor. Oh, you don't want armor. You sure? You're so close. You've almost specced into the arthropod guild. That's got the S tiers like spiders and insects. Well, alright, so where are we going with this? I mean, without armor, you'll probably need some good evasion abilities, or really solid offense, right? No? None of that? Jeez, you're gonna be a sitting duck. Well, I guess since you didn't go for any of those, you've got a lot of evolution points left. What are you going for? Maybe some poison? Or maybe some super good camouflage? What? Heat resistance? Okay, unorthodox, but sure. Wait, you want ice resistance too? Why would you want both? Well, okay, there you go. What else? Radiation resistance. Okay, exactly how often do you think that's gonna come in handy? Supernova resistance, gamma ray burst resistance, asteroid impact resistance. Exactly what are you expecting to encounter? Geez, your lifespan is only a year. Oh, you'd like to be able to go dormant for half a century. Sure, why not? You'll still be a sitting duck the second you wake up. So, do you plan on banding together and fighting as some sort of an army? Oh, you're you're gonna kill each other. Well, alright then. Okay, so I think you get the picture. The point is, water bears are basically resistant to everything except for the things that would actually kill them. They're kind of like doomsday preppers, actually. And as a result, they get killed by the millions. By crabs, shrimps, worms, snails, slugs, mites, spiders, scorpions, insects, and other water bears. But hey, if it ever runs into an enemy whose only method of attack is a laser cannon, they'll be alright. It's also important to point out that water bears do not have the extremophile attribute. They can persist in ridiculously harsh environments, but they can't live in them. You get launched into space, you're still gonna die. It's just gonna take you a really long time. You wanna play a good survivalist class, I suggest either the cockroach, rat, or if you're feeling really extreme, you could try out an Archean. One last thing about water bears. One of the data miners was analyzing water bears, and when he looked through the code, he found that a lot of it was pretty similar to bacterial code. So instead of being like, huh, how did this bacterial DNA get in my sample? He was like, wow, looks like water bears can absorb DNA and incorporate it into their own genome, despite the fact that it would be incompatible. Yeah, that makes sense. Time to publish that. And everyone just kind of went along with it. I can't tell you how many game guides say something like, most alien-like genome of any organism, or some other nonsense. Like, really? It took other data miners a whole year before they realized, hey, what's more likely, an animal that can steal genetic code, or that we messed up? And even though they did publish an updated study, it was too late. The myth had become ingrained in players' minds. So yeah, don't buy into the hype. Water bears are one of the weakest classes you could possibly play. Thanks again for all the support over this first month, everyone. This channel has gone further than I ever imagined, and most of you seem to want it to go even further.